going on guys let's look at this problem right here here this question is asking find the laplace transform of the following functions not that t is greater than or equal to 0 the first one is f of t is equal to e power negative 0 0.4 t cos 12 t and the second one is f of t is equal to sine 4 t plus 5 over 3 and the third one is f of t is equal to cos 2 omega t cos 3 omega t you may want to use the following identities cos alpha plus beta is equal to cos alpha cos beta minus sin alpha sin beta cos theta is equal to e power j theta plus e power negative j theta divided by 2 sin theta is equal to e power j theta minus e power negative j theta divided by 2j okay now let's go ahead and do the first one but before we do that we have to know some uh, basic things <coughs> such as Laplace transform of Laplace transform of sine omega t sine omega t is equal to omega divided by s square plus omega square and then Laplace transform of Laplace transform of cos omega t is equal to s over s square plus omega square and then Laplace transform of <coughs> f of t e power negative a t is equal to f of s plus a. <coughs> now let's do the first one. First one is f of t e power negative 0 0.4 t uh, cos 12t okay now let's go ahead and convert this one find out the Laplace transform here you can see cos 12t if you look at the cos pattern uh, here we written that, that cos omega wherever the omega we replace that one with 12 here our omega is 12 and then um, also you can see whenever we have negative a that will be added with a I mean added with s so when we do that since this is minus this will become plus okay this is s plus a same like that here what we had to do is we had to copy the same thing like s over s square plus omega omega in our case is 12 so 12 square but since we have negative 0 0.4 this a negative a we had to add a to the all of the s so here for this s we had to add this 0 0.4 and also for this s we had to add 0 0.4 but uh, since s is square the 0 0.4 also has to be squared let me erase this and write that one okay so this one has to be s plus 0 0.4 whole square plus 12 square 12 square is 144 so this will be just 144 but I'll just leave it like this we just have to pick up the pattern this is the answer for the first one <clears throat> okay now let's look at the second one second one is to f of t sine 40 plus 5 over 3 now here you can see if we have sine omega t sine 40 alone it's easy to just do this but if we have sine 40 plus another thing we have to expand this one the expansion when we have sine bracket addition uh, that's that's a basic thing you have to know that it will expand like sine 40 cos 5 over 3 plus cos 40 sine 5 over 3 cos 5 over 3 is half okay we got rid of this one now sine 40 now we can apply this sine 40 omega is 4 so 4 divided by s square plus omega square 4 square that is 16 then sine 5 over 3 sine 5 over 3 is root 3 by 2 then we have cos 40 left cos omega t expands like s over s square 
in this case omega is 4 so this is 16 okay now if we multiply everything by half uh, 4 divided by 2 that's just 2 so this is going to be just 2 over s square plus 16 plus uh, root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 times s divided by s square plus 16 since both of the denominators are same we can write it together like okay plus root 3 by 2s and that's the answer for the second one okay now let's look at the third one third one is f of t cos 2 omega t cos 3 omega t let's get rid of all these things first and second <coughs> and do the third one the third one says um, f of t cos 2 omega t cos 3 omega t uh, if you if you have a cos multiplication the expansion will become half of 2 cos omega t cos 3 omega t cos 2 omega t cos 3 omega t and then uh, we will get uh, half of cos 5 omega t plus cos omega t <clears throat> now Laplace transform of f of t cos 2 omega t cos 3 omega t hmm. yeah from this one to here half of cos 2 omega t cos 3 omega t Laplace transform of f of t <clears throat> it will become um, um, it will become half of cos 5 omega t cos omega t here 5 omega is our omega so this is going to be just a cos expansion so this is Laplace of cos s over s square plus 5 omega square and again here we have 1 omega so again 1 omega again uh, omega this is going to be s over s plus omega square s uh, s square plus omega square omega square okay now here we can take a s outside since both has s in the numerator this will become 1 over s square plus uh, 25 omega square and plus this will become 1 over s square plus omega square and that's it that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn differential equation, there are a bunch of videos in my playlist. I hope you guys watched it too. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.